Hello and welcome back to Rocky Desert. My name is Menturius and welcome to this crazy factory. We are on a bridge to start another level at the factory. In the factory tour last Tuesday, I told you guys we were going to build some iron, uh, a new iron factory for iron bars, and well, that it was going to be on that side. And. Well, that's still the plan, but just after the factory tour, we had a little problem. As you can see, I, uh, well, ordered the inventory so it will be able to go up and we get, even got space for two more, but that isn't a problem. After the last factory tour, we had a major power surge because everything was going to go and flow. And if you can see in the right top corner, my current milestone is expanding the power structure. And that is definitely the plan because, well, this power factory is not going to cut it. And I guess this episode is not going to be like well me building something but me telling you guys what could go terribly wrong in when you got out of when you run out of power that that that's that's a horrible problem I have no assembly belt for the heavy frame and also none for the computer we do have the motor up and running but well we had a power problem and I was at 600, 600 megawatts. So let me show you what happened. We have this factory and then it went banana. As you all know, uh, I was wanted to try to expand because I was thinking the problem was the concrete that was not getting enough stuff so I expanded this so I built these I built three of those and well that it was when the power spike came on now if you use 600 megawatts and your factory goes down you don't need 600 power to get the stuff up again you need like a crazy 900 to get it up again. So what did I do? I destroyed the power line to the Criterium factory. So it's not running. And I built these babies. This is not like I planned it, but it was a necessary need. <laughs> I had a big problem issue, a very big problem issue. As you can see, um, I build uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coal generators, and we already have. Well, uh, let's see, a tree here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then I thought. Uh, well, I kind of want to have the, the the next level of power, so let's go for the milestone and let's make that by hand. This was not cutting it, and as you can see, I had no backlog of uh, my plastic, so everything stored under the bridge was exactly one of that container full, and I used it all to make uh, the 27 computers I have now oh, uh, no 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 Ooh, almost went wrong and well then you would think well make those 50 computers that wouldn't be a problem it's empty it's damn empty it's 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 going as fast as it can and I going to tell you another secret I expanded I tripled my plastic production in the meantime so I'm going to show you guys that in a few minutes in the meantime I'm going to make a few more computers because those things are taking a lot of plastic as you can see I need circuits first 
and I need copper cable for that. Oh man, this this was a horrible disaster. I'm made the frames. Are we down again? No. It sound like we were going like out of power again. And if you can see, a lot of things are being produced now, so we're kind of using the maximum capacity. Uh, maybe that wasn't the smartest thing, getting all copper because I only need like a lot. But well, the main thing is we need, we definitely need uh, the fuel. So as you know, I tripled the plastic production that I'm going to show you guys in a few minutes. I got like 14 computers here. I got 27, so it's 30, 41. So I need nine more computers. This was a horrible disaster. I tried to make everything by hand and it was not fun. I ran out of plastic. I needed to craft a lot of junk by hand. And the biggest problem at my moment is that I'm out of pipes. Pipes are being used for the rotors, or for the stators, my apologies, and for, no, uh, there was something else. They have no frames, no. All right, so I only use it for the uh, stators, but the stators are producing like crazy. So my production of iron pipe is definitely not going well. We also need to do something about that. Uh, let's see what we need. Oh, computer, we, what's this? Oh yeah, plastic, we need plastic, as usual. So we need to make eight more computers and I'm going to do it by hand and maybe then we're going to finish it. But the first thing we need to do is get off that coal, crazy coal banana stuff we created. As you can see, tree isn't even cutting it. I definitely need to check how the oil production is doing because I haven't I only got one oil pump drilling there. And it does need to power the... the uh, how do you call these things? This needs to power the... Oh, we don't have those yet. The new power uh, centrals, we need to get the fuel. Alright. Let's see if we can make... The last... We need three more. This is horrible. We're almost there. We need three more. And... Well... After that we are going to take a look at how this crazy factory come to exist because this is not to my liking. A lot of things are now not to my liking, especially the coal production 48. Oh my god, this is really horrible. I need a lot more plastic. I need to make a chip factory. And I guess the biggest problem is that we have no space at where we got the oil drilling spot to build a power factory. But we are going to do it, so I don't know how. But that was the last computer. It was horrible. So my advice to you, if you do this, always keep your power in stack and keep a look out for that because you don't want to make your beautiful factory go totally crazy and need to construct, well, ugly stuff, I guess. Yep. Milestone reached. The fuel generator will match power generation to the increased consumption of recently acquired technologies and buildings. Additionally, improved conveyor belts can now be constructed. Hmm. Alright, so let's take a look at this thing. This baby is... Is... Well, kind of the same as three coal generators. So I need a lot of them. Hmm. Alright. They are needed... They need heavy frames and they need motors and some chips. Chips isn't a big problem. I kind of want to make uh, three or four of these things for now because, well, just because I want them. 
So I need those pipes again, and those pipes are kind of my bad dream at the moment. Because let me show you what is happening on top of the pipe production. The uh, easiest way to get there is this way. This victory is getting this victory factory is getting pretty big now. As you can see, we're pumping in a lot of steel. It it's it's going pretty good. All these things are running. Why aren't you running? You're full? Oh shoot, yes. I broke the line because I needed the... Uh, I needed steel pipes. So that's why I broke the line. So let's uh, pump some more energy in this again so that one will start running again. But they, I got no backlog, so I know, don't know if we're going to do this episode, but we definitely need to make some kind of backlog. And well, this is all going to be, this is going to be a major steel production facility, something like that. I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll see what we need. But these all have to go, they were going totally on fuel, and I really like to have the update with the nuclear because well power is power also something we did because I wanted those steel beam production to go like banana uh, let me show you that what did we do there to also make a power problem I wanted more yeah no that's not the this is not the one I meant to show you man I'm totally getting crazy here I think it's this one, yes, this is the factory that's making the iron cases, so I made three of those power shards, and well, that also started the power, uh, well, the power problem, because this factory, this thing was running good, and made sure that everything was uh, going, everything needed what it needed. So I was kind of having a perfect factory until the power broke down. Uh, what do we need for those four fuel generators? One, two, three, four. I need uh, circuits. So I need a little bit of plastic. We should have at least, yeah, we uh, put you back in. I want, no, I put you back in. Thank you. So this was definitely not the factory or the episode I expected, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Always keep your plastic at backlog or kind of trying to get everything in backlog. And we are going to try and change that, uh, some other stuff that I want more backlog because, well, I definitely need it. I need 14 and I guess the problem will be the pipes yes I guess it will be the pipes should have taken more pipes as you can see the heavy frames is, is really going to need a lot of pipes and I need a big backlog of that one uh, let's also make a circus in the meantime because we're down here anyway uh, one two three four I need like 20 of them and I also want to take a lot of concrete with me because well that uh, factory where am I running to pipes oh yes it was a pipe section uh, sometime my mind is going on automatic uh, why I'm taking a detour <laughs> definitely taking a detour need to make some stuff go up as you can see iron rust is still a little bit of a problem but well we can't fix it until we fix the power issue and then there's going to be a big floor on this one with assemblers I think they are called assemblers uh, we were going for I'm totally lost oh yeah the heavy pipes as you can see the heavy pipe is already not producing as much as expected or as hoped hmm. I tried to jump before uh, well, I can do it. 
I'm going to steal your pipe because I need it and we don't need the stators so well that's kind of how efficiency works uh, this one as you can see uh, they already have two less pipes so I guess where the power central is now is going to be a steel factory making more pipes somehow you need a lot of pipes oh I need to make the frames first this is totally going banana but well it's a lot of fun and <laughs> I like it that that's the fun part you can see me mess up uh, six frames uh, these are did the problem I got all the rest repeat but it take 36 and this one only takes so oh, I wonder what I make no I don't make these heavy beams yet so because I got enough screws uh, well in this depot I also have some in the other one but this one is kind of sucked up I'm not sure what this is where this is going to I guess this is the one that's going to the top side This should be enough to make those five. One more. Yeah, perfect. Now let's sort my inventory and let's take as much concrete as we can because, well, that's something we need as well. But I guess we need to go all the way to the top for that one because, well, I made that one go up a few episodes before if you want to laugh at me look at my previous uh, video am I totally out of concrete holy banana I am that's a first this is definitely new Alright, so this is definitely a problem now that I don't have concrete. Uh, well, let's see if we can try and get this uh, thing up and running because I definitely need concrete. Was going to build another concrete factory at the other side where the Caterium comes in. Man, that word is kind of annoying. Right, this should fill up. That one's running. And I guess I'm going to close that belt as well. Oh man, so much things needs improvement. <clears throat> oh, well, let's see. Uh, let's cut. No, not that line because then I have to redo it. That one. Alright, as you can see we're already getting more concrete but I need a lot more concrete to come in. So I'm even thinking of... Because... Well, you don't need smelters for this one. We could extend this even more. And as you can see we got plenty of concrete coming in but let this run for a few hours and we'll see if we still got enough concrete because then I am definitely going to expand this more to that side but we definitely need to make some kind of entrance here because well that's the route to the oil platform and I kind of want to show you guys that before the end of the episode but well I even want to start building the oil factory but we'll probably run it some kind of problem in the end all right oh man well this will have to do for now this is definitely not going to be enough but I definitely want to show you guys uh, how the oil refinery looks let's go to my car I'm not going to walk all the way How's the plastic doing? Oh man, it's still horrible. 
All right, this one is still running on the biomass. I could run it on fuel, but I haven't done that yet. So let's drive to the other side. I really am waiting for the the explorer that's coming in in not in the next patch because the next patch is going to be the trains. And well, I kind of want to get to make the trains. Uh, go automated uh, to this section maybe even make we could do the power on somewhere over here uh, but I also want to make a kind of power factory so I, I got my mindset on a power factory I don't know how high we can go but I want to make kind of like a, a power factory 2x2 two two. and well Good to see how high we can go with the power factory. Still need to close that gap in the road. Haven't done that yet. Oh, what? And we're getting close to our refinery. The oil rig is still going that way and I can see the oil is still flowing. So that's a good thing. I didn't expect it. Alright, so I built two more refineries and they are looking good. I could even build more, I expect. But then we need to go into water. But I do think we are going to do that in the end because we need more for the computers. Because these things are huge. Could also speed them up that that would if, if we got enough power but these take 50 megawatt if you overdrive them I'll think they go to 100 150 there so we need all right I guess this could be a nice spot for the well yes this is definitely going to be a nice spot need to destroy the bushes and uh, do I still? Yes, I have my chainsaw with me. I got no oil. Does it need bio oil? Because that would be kind of crappy. I got enough. It doesn't run on. Oh, that's annoying. It doesn't run on gasoline. Hmm. Alright, then we need to have ourselves a workbench. Let's see, crafting bench, this would be a nice spot, and let's make us some bio, and because we don't need that much biofuel, I don't know how we are going to build it, come on. So definitely not going to be, yeah, you. We're definitely not going to finish it in this episode. That's for sure. All right. But I do want to know how large these babies are. Or, as you can see we're already out I need more concrete all right let's see how big these babies are oh my god I need a better position for this to to see how we're going to do this because I want to have I want to be able oh come on get stop that stop that stop that short all right
All right, so this is the platform and I kind of want to make it one wider, but well, that can be done in the next episode. So this is acceptable. So that's going to be the entrance. There's going to be one line behind it. Where's the entrance? Oh, there's the entrance. All right. So this this is going to be the entrance. And yeah, that this should be. I guess this could be it. All right. How large are you? All right. So you're exactly the same height as that one. All right. Um, hmm. I think we do need some redesigning to be done because, well, I kind of want to have an entrance to this thing, but I'm out of concrete. So I guess that's going to be done in the next episode. I'm going to make a lot of concrete and. Oh man, that sneeze was coming pretty hard. But, well, and I want to stack them. So we're going to build two by two and then we're going to go up. And as you already know, I need at least four to power my current crazy extension of the coal generator we did. And I guess in the next episode, we are going to build those four. So we are going to do make the first two floors of this crazy power factory that we're going to build. I like it. I hope you guys like it too and if you do put it in the comment down below and tell me what you think of the plan. And I guess the iron ingots will have to wait and maybe we're going to make a little bit more plastic. But that's for the next episode. That's definitely for the next episode. So see you guys all in the next episode. My name is Maturius and if you haven't already, press the subscribe button. And while you're at it, press the like button as well. Or the dislike, what you think of it, I don't mind. I do like your comment down below because that's important for me to build on this channel. So see you all in the next Satisfactory and Rocky Desert.